I don't fancy going out with Mum without any housekeeping money. Ah, oh, well, that's all right, boy. I've got a dead cert tip for the 4.30 race at Newmarket today. Straight from the horse's mouth. Cool, you and your dead cert tips. What about the ground racing last night? Blimey, all the dogs we put our money on, they're still running. Yeah, well, it's a bit of bad luck, that's all. A bit of bad luck? I've done me wages in. Yeah, well, so did I. So what you got to do is to put some money on that horse at Newmarket. What money? We ain't got any money. Well, borrow a fiver. Oh, don't be daft. The fellas are on the overtime band. They've got nothing to lend. Here, I'll tell you what. Borrow it off Basher. He's got a job as a part-time bouncer down the dance hall. Always lending money. Oi, Basher, mate. Yeah. You'll lend Stan a fiver till he sees you, won't you? No, I'm sick of smashing blokes' faces in trying to get me money back. Oh, go on, Basher. Look, do us a favour. Tell you what, Stan will give it you back by Monday, won't you, Stan? Will I? Yeah, of course he will. Yeah, of course I will. Yeah, it's OK, Basher. Yeah. Well, you're the last one. Yeah. Well, I won't forget you. <laughs> You better not, or tear your arms off. <laughs> he will and all, he's half pot of years. <laughs> yeah, still, you've got nothing to worry about, just as long as you let him have his money back by Monday. Monday? It's Saturday today. I've got to give this in for the housekeeping money. I've just remembered. Aunt Maud's birthday tomorrow. I mean, we'll have to buy her a present. Yeah, well, that's what you've got to do. Put that money on that horse at Newmarket. That's going straight home, mate. Oh, Basha won't like it if you don't get his money back, you know. What are we going to do? I'll oh, come and have a cup of tea. I'll think of something, mate. Oi, oi, who are you two? Yeah. <laughs> look at all the letters we've been having about you two, look. Oh, look at that. We're getting fan mail now, Jack. <laughs> Don't get fan mail. They're complaints. <laughs> the governor sent me out to give you a rocket about these. Now, how'd you cap all that lot, look? Oh, I don't know. We must be slipping, Blakey. By the time we finish with them, they're not usually fit enough to complain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 look. Look at this. It's one here from a woman. She had one foot on the platform, one foot on the pavement. You closed the doors and drove away, look. Yeah, well, we thought she might want to stretch her legs a bit. <laughs> Here, he's one here from a little old man. Yeah. He says he tried to get on with his dog and you chucked him off, look. Yeah, well, it was a rush hour. <laughs> but you let the dog on. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it's a very big dog, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, I like dogs, I don't like little old men. Yeah. <laughs> Good the blokes like you, the company keeps losing passengers every day, do you realise it? Yeah, they fall off every time he goes round the bend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Losing the passengers means the company's losing money. We're supposed to be running a public service. That means going out of your way to help the public, doesn't it? Blakey, we always go out of our way. Yeah, you do. You're hardly ever on the proper route, are you? <laughs> well, what do you want us to do to help the public? Well, how about lifting that overtime ban? That'd help us start, wouldn't it? But why should we help the public? What do they ever do for us? We'll lift our overtime ban when we get our pay rise. Uh, never do anything to me, nobody used to, would you? Eh? Look, yeah. we always do anything to help the no, public. No, not you, Butler. Nothing for no one. That's your motto. All right, then, Blakey, you tell us what you want us to do, we'll do it. All right. Before you knock off for the day, take that bus over there out on test. Now, I'm short-handed, that would help me out. Oh, 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 I fell for that one, didn't I, Jack? I, <laughs> what a crafty move. Yeah, right, Governor's trick, that is, isn't it? I... You're right, Jack, yeah. We've got to keep our eyes on him, you know. I ain't got time for a cup of tea now. Come on, I've got to push off home. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mr Blake, you're wanted on our phone again. Oh, no. A more complaints, eh? Hello, Irish love. Cool. What's the matter with you? Don't ask. All right, I won't then. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't need Jack. What's the matter? Well, me and my old mum was moving home today and the man that was going to pick up our furniture, he's let us down. Ah, what a shame. Can't you get anybody else? No, it's too late. We've got to go today. It's the end of our week's notice. Hey, mate, come here. I think we can make ourselves a little bit of money here, What are you talking about? Ah, uh, honest, love. Um, how much was he going to charge you then? Five pounds. Mm -hmm. And how much stuff you got? Only a few bits and pieces. Right. I tell you what, you give us the fiver, that's two and a half quid each, mate. Yeah. And uh, Stan will do it for you, won't you, Stan? Yeah, just, what, what, just no, that's all right, love, we'll pick you up here at two o'clock. Right? Oh, oh, thanks ever so much, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are lovely. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just a little dolly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just about, hang about, mate. What's the matter with you? It's going to cost us a tenner to hire a van. Who said anything about hiring a van? We use this bus, the one that Blakey wants us to take out on test for him. Don't talk tough, mate. If he catches me with that, I'll get the sack. Yeah, and if you don't give Basher back his money by Monday, you'll get your neck broken. Hello, hot. Uh, Basher, mate, you uh, yeah. killed anyone lately, have you? No, I'm, uh, I'm running out of punch bags. <laughs> 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 All right, you made your point there. Oh, uh, Blakey, mate. 
Uh, uh, we just, uh, I've had a word with Jack here, and uh, we're going to have a bit of grub, see? And we'll nip back afterwards and take this bus out on test for you. Hey? Mm. <laughs> what? Well, you know, I mean, you said you'd like us to help the public all we can. <laughs> you do just... realise there's nothing in it for you, don't you? Oh, that's all right, Blakey. Stan and me is always the first to help our old mates when they're in trouble. You know us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know us. <laughs> yeah. I do know you. Yeah. You're up to something, you two. I'm going to keep my eye on you. Oh, I wish Stan and Ali up home with the housekeeping money. There'll be nothing left in the shops. They'll all be sold out. Hey, watch what you're doing over there. Those tiles aren't set properly yet. Ah, oh, I must say, you've made a very nice job of them, Arthur. Oh, thank you. I must say, if we'd left it to Stan, it'd have been a right old mess. At least I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. There's some tea in the pot, love. Thank Here you. Yeah, Mum, I've mixed the icing for Aunt Maud's birthday cake. What do I do now? Now, all you have to do is press the cake down through the tin. It'll slide out and it's all ready for icing. Oh, all right. I'll make a bit of space. Yeah, I think you'd better. I don't know how you work with all this lot. Here, <laughs> here, yeah, yeah, where's the milk? Milk. There's yeah. no left in it. Well, there was a full pint there. Has that gone already? Yeah, did you move it, Olive? Yeah, I'll put it in the cake. What? You're not supposed to put any milk in there. Well, I thought it was a bit dry. Oh! <laughs> You stupid great nana! <laughs> you haven't cooked it enough, have you? Well, it does look a bit underdone, do you? That was supposed... That was supposed to be a cake for Aunt Maud's birthday, not a heap of old black porridge. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. By that door! Oh, sorry. Have you finished yet, Arthur? Oh, shut up. Oh, Mom. there you are, love. Here, we've uh, got the housekeeping money. Uh, I want to get down to the shops. Well, no, no, um, uh, I, 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 I didn't pick up my wages, Mum. I didn't have time. Uh, hey? Oh, but don't worry. No, I, uh, I borrowed a five at a time, there, you know. Oh, okay. all right. Well, that'll have to do. But you'll have to get some more tomorrow, love. And don't forget, we're going down to Art Maud's tomorrow. Got to pay our fares. Oh, I haven't forgot, yes. Jack's thought of something. I'm afraid. <laughs> well, love, I'm what? off now. Yes. Ta-da. Where are you off? Just a minute. Where's my lunch? Lunch? I didn't have no money, did I? Ah, oh, never mind, love. I'll get you something when I'm out. Well, on. get a move on, Mum. I've got to go back this afternoon. Right, now, Mind that door. Oh. Right, where's the tile, Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Stand up. Give Olive hand with that icing of the cake. Mind that door. <laughs> oh, come here, Olive. I'll give you a... <laughs> God, blimey. <laughs> that don't want ice in that one scaffolding. Can you do anything with it, Stan? Yeah, chuck it in the dustbin. Oh, well, oh I did man. try. I was only joking, no. No, it might be all right when we put the icing on it. That'll hold it together, see? Where's the icing? Oh, I'll put it somewhere. Oh, hang on a minute. Right, wait a minute. I'll oh, clear yeah, the, it is. I'll, I'll clear the decks a bit, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, open up there. Right, let's have a go then. Do you think the icing will hold it together? Yeah, it should do. No, it's right. It's a bit thick, isn't it? Oh, blimey, like cement, this. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. Nah. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave the icing in the bowl and we'll spread the cake over the ice. <laughs> you? you won't have an ice cake, you'll have a cake nice. ice. <laughs> oh, you might be a bit more helpful. Well, I'm doing my best, don't I? But let's face it, darling. This is like trying to uh, ice a rice pudding, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what we'll do. Come here, pull its skirt up. Uh, uh, That's it, right. Now then, yeah. we'll put all this school blinds like the quater mask, isn't it? This here. <laughs> here, if we bring all this goo back in here again. <laughs> You sure you made this and you didn't grow it? <laughs> Try. God, dear old Lord, look at the mess. Oh, you mixed it with ink, didn't you? Now, don't spoil it. <laughs> spoil it? God. All right, hold it there like that now, then. Yeah. Now, we, now, now we put the icing on it. And that, uh, let's have a look. Let's get that. Oh. <laughs> now, look at that. It looks going good, isn't it? Yes. See, so you've got bung bang on it. Look, it's going over the side there. That's it. Look. Oh, that's it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, see? Now, then, a bit more on there. That's the idea. That's it. Now, you hold it there until it sets, right? Oh, looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, wonder what it tastes like. 
Oh, it's lovely. Get out of it. Don't keep on putting your finger in it. Just because you made it, you don't have to leave your fingerprints on it, do you? Well, I don't know if the icing needs a bit more sugar. Well, icing what sugar? Icing's supposed to be all sugar. <laughs> well, I just ain't got any sugar in it at all. Well, I made it just the way Mum told me to. Did you? It does taste a bit funny, doesn't it? Here. These tiles won't stick. There's something wrong with the cement. <laughs> Just as I thought, we've iced the cake with tile and cement. <laughs> Just one moment. Just one moment. What have I been trying to stick my tiles on with? Guess. <laughs> you stupid, great, fatty, competent idiot, aren't you? I forgot my shopping list, loves. Finish the cake? Oh, yeah, we finished that off, all right. <laughs> Mind the door! Piano? Hang on, I never saw no piano. You and your father for five minutes' work. Good cool, blimey. Stop it rolling down, Neil. Yeah, well, how did the door put the kettle on? Uh, Ig, do you think Blakey saw us? Ah, no. Even if he did, we'll be finished before he can find us. <laughs> what are you doing? What, what's that? Oh, that's, yeah, that's a piano. I can see that, can't I? Do you know that's against the rules? No, I don't know that one. If you like to arm it, I'll see if I can follow you. Don't you think you better stop it? Nah, leave him. We can always get another piano. <laughs> Stopped here for? Look, we got a fiver off the old girl, right? That's two and a half quid each, right? Well, you still got two and a half quid to find. Well, I know that, you idiot. What's that got to do with it? Stanley, your troubles are over. Oh, no, not that again. Look, mate, I've got a dead set for the 4.30. We've just got time to get it, it on that. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. Here, Jack, mate. Next time you get a red hot tip, do us a favour, will you? Keep your trap shut. Oh, the bus has gone. What's Blakey gonna say? I know what you say, all right. Butler, you're sacked. You want to take a bus? I don't know. Oi, Sam. Inspector Blake. 
Jake wants to see you in his office immediately. Oh, blimey, Jack. Here, uh, how are we going to tell him? Well, you'll just have to tell him you've lost your bus. God, you murder me. Yeah, I expect he will. Father. Yeah, well, I'll just slip away then. No, you're in this with me, no. Father, I'd like a word with you. And you, Harper. Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, Blakey, um, uh, about that furniture, you know you said uh, that, that we should do all we can for the public. Well, uh, it, you see, it, it was a misunderstanding. Uh, yeah, it's all right, but no, I mean, after all, you couldn't be expected to understand something a child of three could understand, could you? Don't worry about the furniture, boy. You all right? Yes, I'm all right, Butler. How's the bus? Oh, 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 yeah, the bus is all right, yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, still, what? must check it, mustn't we? Uh, well, yes, must, I insist um, on checking no, it now. No, Where no, is uh, it? Uh, Blakey, I uh, don't seem to see any no, bus. No, no, Blakey, listen, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this. No, oh, you've done something to it, haven't you? Well, um, don't, don't tell me, I, I knew it, I knew it. You've damaged the seat cover or something, haven't you? Well, well no, no. That I, cost I, you about 50 quid, you know that, don't you? Anything you've done to that bus, butler, you've got to pay it. No, no, it's not exactly what I've done to the bus, it's what I've done with the bus. <laughs> I'm not standing here while you give me lessons in English grammar. I just want to check a bus, that's all. Oh, go on, tell him. Tell him, go on. Hey, that's right. It's a You're not going to believe this. <laughs> try him, but. Well, yeah, try him, Jack. Um, <laughs> um, it's a little difficult to explain, but you... You see, we, we haven't exactly got a bus anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the next thing you're going to tell me is you parked it at the side of the road and you came back and found someone had driven it away, eh? Yes. Hey, hey that's exactly what did happen, yeah. did it, Jack? And just a minute, how do you know? I was the one who drove it away. <laughs> 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 God, you might have said something. We thought some idiot had come along and pinched it. Yeah, and as it turned out, we was dead right. You do realise, Butler, that that bus is not a private car at your beck and call? Nor while we're on the subject is it a furniture removal van. It's a bus for the purposes of transporting the public. Well, I know that, don't I? Well, try using it for that for once in a while, will you? <laughs> Hey. I've had the superintendent from the old folks' home on the phone again. It's about their coach outing tomorrow. Look, I've already told him it's their fault he's been let down. Them and their blooming overtime band. But what about the old people? How are they going to get to the seaside? They'll have to walk, won't they? <laughs> yeah, more complaints, I suppose. Oh, I do feel sorry for those old folks. We could easily have let them have a coach. I mean, it's not as if they don't pay. Uh, hey, come on. Sir, mate, what? I've got an idea. Yeah, what? Uh, Wait a minute, what do you mean? Shut up, we will let them have a coach tomorrow. This one. Are you out of your tiny mind? What I've been through with you and him and that bus, and you expect me to come here tomorrow morning and pinch that coach? Not pinch it, just sort of borrow it for the day. Oh, anyway, no. Anyway, think of the poor old folks. No, mate, no, I'm not having any. All right, if you won't think of the poor old folks, think of Basher. Look, mate, there's 40 people that say 50 pence a head. That's 20 quid. Cash in the hand, mate. Oh, well. yeah, I suppose you are right, Jack. I mean, well, I mean, we should think of the old folks, shouldn't we? <laughs> and Basher, of course, yeah. <coughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about Blakey? Look, he won't be here tomorrow, will he? It's his day off, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, it is, yeah. Look, mate, we'll come in here, yeah. first thing tomorrow morning, yeah? And get the old coat, yeah? Yeah. Who locked down the seats over the old folks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, if you can't get one of the other inspectors to come in tomorrow, so I'll be pleased to come in. <laughs> well, it's Sunday, they don't like it, do they, sir, eh? <laughs> no, don't you worry, sir. I shall be here all day tomorrow, sir. Right there, then, Corky. You're due out on the 14 in about 10 minutes, right? Now, don't hang about. Don't get taking liberties just because it's a Sunday service, you know. Um, Jack, 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 just a yeah. minute, just a minute. I've been, uh, I've been thinking about it, uh, uh, Listen, uh, supposing Blakey finds out. Oh, don't talk, don't. How can he find out? It's his day off, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Come on, let's get cracking. Now, hang about, can't go yet. Why not? I'm waiting for the family, yeah. What for? Well, I, you know, I told him I'd, uh, I'd drop them off uh, at Aunt Maud's on the way, you know. Oh, blimey, we can't stand about here all day. Somebody might cop us. But you blimey, you said it was going to be your... <laughs> Jim. Who? Oh. Blakey. Oh, you've got Blakey on the brain, you have, mate. He's in bed snoring right now. I tell you, it's Blakey. I saw his, his black mat go round the front of the coach. All right, we'll put your mind at rest then. 
Daggers! Oi, Dracula! <laughs> hey, I want to tell you, imagine he thinks. I, I know it's him, I know that tall streak anywhere. I tell you, it's him. I saw him go round the back there. All right, then. You go down this side of the coach, I'll go round that side, and we'll meet round the back. Yeah, just a minute, just a minute. What are we going to do if we see him? Run like hell. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Oh, Dan, so look, I've told you he's not there. Now, stop worrying, will you? I could have sworn I saw him. Look, we're going to make a good thing out of this. I've got the 20 quid off the old folks. There we are, oh, see? Oh, yeah, good, yes, yes. So let's uh, do it. housekeeping money for Mum and, yeah. uh, and the fire for see for old Basher, see? Uh, that's right. Come on, let's get yeah. cracking. Here we are, lad. Where have you been good? We've been waiting for you. I've been walking as fast as I can. Olive, shove that stuff on the coat. Oh. No, you can't do that. By the time the others get on there with their luggage, you won't be room, no. You'll have to put them in the boot at the back. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, put it in somewhere. <laughs> <'cause they're not laughs> Hey, hey, Jack. <laughs> it's a good job old Jack the Rain here, otherwise we'd beat with the eye jump. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 hey! That's just what you are all for, back on the eye jump, mate. I told you he was here. Of course, you're red-handed, and I ain't red-handed. Oh. I was made by day, did you? Oh, we've had it this time, Jack. Yes, you have, mate. You both get the sack, but as you realise, they are very dishonest. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me they were going to take that coach out without your permission? That is correct, sir. It means instant dismissal, I'm pleased to say. Well, very well deserved. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting years for this butler. Yes! <laughs> I've got your car door and it's stamped up in there. Get, 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 Yes, how? It's on that board there. A bus or coach may be hired anywhere, anytime, any place. Right? That's it, yeah. I was hiring the old coach to take the old people out on their outing, that's it. Yeah, mind you, mind you, we got paid for it, see? Look. Is that the truth? Yeah, so you can't sack us now, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, just one moment. Do you mean to tell me you were going to take us to Aunt Maud's via some old folks' outing? Well, that's all right, Arthur. There's some near older than you. Oh, stay. <laughs> but, uh, I think that is highly commendable of you to do that with the old folks, I really do. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I like to do all I can to help the public, you know. No, <laughs> no, that was noble of you, noble. Oh, thanks very much. Thank no, <laughs> it'd be the old folks who live to thank you, Butler. Them and the company, of course. Hey, just a minute, what are you doing, what are you doing? <laughs> 30 pound a day for the hire of the coach. It says it on the board here, as your friend Arthur yeah, yeah. points out. 30 pound, but no, I've, I've only got 20 pound oh, now. Oh, don't worry about the other 10, uh, Butler, it's all right. Oh, well, at least that's uh, something, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop it out your next week's wages. <laughs> hey, we're coming up, Kenny. Oh, I'm sorry about that, mate. Yeah, well, it's all right, mate. You did your best, didn't you? Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, love. We won't have to pay our fares, will no, we? Yeah. I'm not sure if I fancy going with the load of old folks. Hey, anyway, hold it, hold it. What now? How many old people going on this out in Arthur? Exactly 40. Oh, oh, what a pity. This coach is only licensed for old 40. Hey? Yes, that means there's three too many. Huh? Yeah. You know that, Arthur, you know the rules. It means that you butlers will have to go buy some other means of transportation, I'm afraid. Come on, come on! You can do, mate. What? Hire yourself another coach. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.